Now for a further breakdown of the Chinubu economic address to Nigeria. Rotus Udiri joins us now. Good morning, Rotus. Good morning, Doctor. You want to talk about the president's address? Yeah, it's every yes. doctor, everybody. It's that's, day, what, that's what everybody is discussing. Rufa so is there's waiting for you. Yeah, no, we're ready for Rufa. Any, any day, day. <laughs> any day, any, uh, any day, <laughs> we're ready. I should move my seat there. Ah, and then you should be on the other side. Yeah. So so like, Rotus, are you ready? Rotus. Rufa, are you ready? Today, Rufa, we are agree. you ready? I hope you are ready. Okay, all right. First we of all, agree. Yeah. Today, we agree. We are friends. Oh, on the same side. Well, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, uh, there's something the president said about, uh, I think of him just being honest with people, the tough patch. Let's take a listen. The economy is going through a tough patch, and you are being hurt by it, I know. The cost of fuel has gone up. Food and other prices have followed it. Households and businesses are struggling. Things seem anxious and uncertain. I understand the hardship you face. I wish there were other ways, but there is not. If there were, I would have taken that route as I came here to help, not to hurt the people and the nation that I love so dearly. Yeah, so the, the, I, 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 I pulled that out because I thought it was really, really you know, pertinent that he said, listen, we are where we are, and I wish there were other options, but that's pretty much it. All right, so we just you know, highlighted most of what he said, uh, saying that one trillion had been saved from removing subsidies. It's not one trillion that's coming into the coffers. It's basically money they didn't have to spend. Over the two months since it's been removed, and then and also mentioned that exchange rate volatility is going to be monitored. And then this is another part of him talking, speaking. You know, there was another part where he said, I'm not going to use economic jargon. I want to speak in plain language to, um, to Nigerians, which I thought was, it was I, you know, I chuckled at that because it was important. He says intervention in exchange rates will, be, will happen when it is necessary, which is basically explaining the managed flow that the CBN talked about. And then also the minimum wage upward review um, is going to be uh, forthcoming, saying that that has to be increased. Then the manufacturing stimulus, um, 75 billion naira outlay from July um, of this year up until March of next year, funding 75 enterprises in manufacturing, a billion each for each of them, 9%, um, which interestingly enough is, is the rates that uh, the CBN has been using for intervention funds over a maximum of 60 month um, repayment. Now, of course, the manufacturing sector, we have to remind ourselves what challenges it's facing. Erratic power supply, FX scarcity, high borrowing costs, and then inadequate infrastructure. So the power sector of this matter has to be addressed as well. Then the, for nano businesses, 125 billion outlay, 50 billion aimed as conditional grants. It's very important to note that these are going to be conditional grants, right? 50,000 to, to 1,300 of them across the 774 million. Um, actually, if you multiply that, it usually comes out to a little over um, 50 billion. And then the MSME startup stimulus, 100,000 of them, um, 75 billion, each of them to get between 500,000 to a million, 9% interest over a, peer, a payback period of, um, of 36 months. Bless you, bless you. Um, agriculture supports the 200,000 release of metric tons of grains. Um, 225,000 metric ton uh, release of fertilizer, then the 50 billion invested in 150,000 hectares for rice and maize, and another 50 for um, wheat and, um, and um, uh, cassava. Um, and then, okay, and then the transport as well, 100 billion there um, for 3,000 units of 20 seater CNG buses. And this is pretty interesting, except for, for um, the transport companies in the country can access. 9% um, credit facility for 60 month um, uh, repayment. So, you know, essentially, you know, that's, you know, what he's, he's put forward. I think one of the things that folks are asking about is the, as far as implementation, the 75 companies that are going to get that 1 billion, yeah. who are they? Who are they? Yes. What is the, they uh, what is the method through which you will, uh -huh. you will find, figure out who they are? And then if they get the money, tracking them to make sure that it is used properly because you want to increase productivity. You want to make sure they hire people and, uh, and so on and so forth. And then, um, and then also, again, the, 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 okay, you, you all have already mentioned the security part to make sure that um, the, Farmer. the farmers yeah. are, are, are safe. And, you know, um, okay, perfect. I wanted you all to listen to this. Um, this is Alex Seinart. He is a lead economist at the World Bank. 
and he was giving an address at uh, the Lagos Business School. Very interesting calculations on the 8,000 Naira that was criticized by a lot of people um, of the saying that it wasn't enough. Uh, let's, let's listen to what he said. What's been in the news is the idea of a 5,000 or an 8,000 Naira monthly transfer to needy households for about six months. Um, if you look at the cost of that, it would be equivalent actually to just about one month's worth of spending on the subsidy that was happening before it was cancelled under the old exchange rate, still less than two months worth uh, under the new one. Um, so it's not actually an enormous amount of resources relative to what's being freed up, and it might just help many poor and vulnerable households get through this without having to do things that really harm their prospects, right? Like pull a kid out of school or not go to the hospital or skip a meal or whatever the case might be. The other thing we often hear is that 5,000 Naira or 8,000 Naira is a trivial amount of money. How's that going to help people? I think people would often actually be shocked to know that for a huge number of Nigerian households, it's a very significant amount of money. So um, I believe the statistic is that about 50% of Nigerian households are on less than 60,000 Naira a month. So if you're giving them 5,000 or 8,000 extra for six months to help tide them over, you're increasing their earnings and their available incomes by, you know, on the order of 10%. So uh, for many households, it would be meaningful. Um, all right, and then I mentioned that we have many other ideas about how to sort of bed things down. Um, let me just quickly give you a sense of those, and then I've definitely gone on long enough. Uh, so, first... Yeah, so I think, the, I mean, I know that it's being reviewed, uh, whether it's going to be reviewed upwards or however it's going to be done, but just coming from him saying that it's important to note that for people who live on, on less than a dollar a day, um, and according to those calculations, on the, the number, half of Nigerians living on less than 60,000, was it 50,000 Naira a month, to add an extra five to 8,000 would be significant over a period okay. of time. So, so there you go. This is, this is the problem I have with um, what Julius Nyerere calls the International Ministry of Finance, which is the IMF and the World Bank. The hitherto monies that were shared in conditional cash transfer, what has been the tracking effect mm. on us? So you see, there's one thing to say, yes, 5,000 goes a long way. It goes a long way. I'm not saying it doesn't go a long way. Yeah. But what has been the outcome? Because we have done this model before. Yeah. You forgot that we gave trader money that we could even account for during the election period, which I thought was vote vine anyway, mm -hmm. You forgot that we've given other interventions. But can we also look at it in such a way that it avails much compared to where we even lend this from, which is the Brazilian model, the Bolsa Familia, that is tied to a particular outcome? So I think the World Bank should also tell us, the hitherto ones that they had overseen in Nigeria they should tell us the knock-on effect of that money on the economy. That's one. Number two, today, I think we agree on all the things. Yes, because these are the things. Hello, some people have argued that that money, 500 billion is more. For me, I think any spending whatsoever that pumps money into the economy has a ricochet effect. But you see, like I said this morning before, he bought time. So are we thinking of what to do after all of this starts to wear off? You remember when COVID was out, we took a COVID vaccine. You took your first jab. Yep, yep, yep. After your first jab, it started to wear off at a point in time. So this is the first jab in the vaccine we have taken mm. when it starts to wear off. But the, work, the, the effectiveness of the vaccine is also incumbent on the type of vaccine. Are you taking Novavax? Are you taking uh, uh, AstraZeneca? Or you are taking uh, another kind of vaccine? Yeah, you know, vaccine yeah. get greed. In this one, it is in the implementation. So take, for instance, Rotus. When you were talking about accountability as regards the 75 businesses that will collect that one billion, guess what? A TV show just came to my head. The firm, mm. where the companies that are bidding for this, you document the process on television, you have pitches, you go through their company processes and all of that, and the eventual winner is beamed on television. You can make it a 13 weeks program Okay. Or a 26 weeks program, you yeah. know, how it goes and all of that, and how the processing, how they file their paper. This is going to help also help people. It's just me thinking mm. whimsically. Gotcha. So it's just about the implementation. If we get the implementation right, it's, for me, I'm a big Canadian uh, thinker that the government has to put a hand in the economy, the unseen hand. Yeah. All right. So for me, I mean, the only concern I have, and I think it's been raised in the past, not just under this administration, is the fact that. 
you know, yes, the um, World Bank lead in Nigeria is saying that many Nigerians live below um, 60,000, uh, below 60,000 naira per month, about 50% of Nigerians. Mm. That's a big concern. And I, as, as nice as it sounds, so that's why the 8,000 naira would go a long way. I think that's a bigger conversation that we need to have. Yeah, the yeah. fact that 8,000 naira would go a long way means that many Nigerians are living in poverty. So what you're doing is just sustaining the poverty. You are not bringing people into, um, you know, you're not bringing people into perhaps um, prosperity. Mm. So maybe that's a bigger conversation for this administration. And I know that he's talked about and part of his campaign was take people out of poverty and take them into prosperity. That's a bigger conversation. It's hard to hear that. And 8,000 naira, well, let's not patronize people. Yes, 8,000 naira would go longer because people are poor. Mm. But it's not enough on the, on the, on the, the current realities. That's my, that's my view. Well, in any case, with regard to 8,000 naira, the president has said there will be a review of that. Mm. So we'll get more clarity as the uh, government makes up his mind. I had somebody talking about the unseen hand. It's actually the invisible hand, Adam mm. Smith, uh, the Wealth of Nations, 1774. But that has even been criticized specifically. The role of IMF and World Bank for persons who rely heavily on IMF and World Bank. Uh, Joseph Stiglitz. In, uh, in his book, uh, Globalization and His Discontents, content, yeah. made a critique of neo Keynesianism, you, know, uh, you know, the major point of his uh, submission in that book. But let's not talk theory of international trade uh, this morning. But let's see what the government decides, you know, eventually yeah. uh, with regard to palliatives. But to go back to the president's speech, which is your main speech this morning, mm. the president you know, talked about a number of things, right? Including his response, I said earlier, to the EIU. He defended the floated uh, Naira... Managed uh, floats. Uh, uh, managed float. Yeah, Man yeah. Managed float. Yeah. Yes. And he said, no, he's not going to roll back from it. And I thought that was a very confident, you know, response yeah. to the Economic Intelligence Unit. He says his objective is to narrow the gap mm. uh, between the official and parallel markets. We were told by the Economic Intelligence Unit that there's still a 100 naira, you know, spread, uh, uh, spread, yep. yeah, arbitrage. Yep. You know, he says to also stop those Nigerians who are profiteering from foreign exchange trans uh, speculation, and so that is the point. Okay, we'll see who is right yeah. in the fullness of time between uh, President Tinubu and those who are criticizing a managed float system with the Economic Intelligence Unit says the present CBN has no capacity or experience uh, mm. to actually uh, manage. The other issue is about the, this cooperation with the states. A major part of his speech was about farming schemes. Yeah. The federal government doesn't control any land outside the FCT. I hope it will not result in a situation where the state uh, governments who have been given powers to manage land uh, under the land use act, we'll be asking for more money, more than, uh, you, you know, that, that they can manage themselves. Yeah. But, you know, as I said earlier, the taste of the pudding is in the eating. The president has given us an outline. Will he stop the proposed labor strike mm. that is supposed to commence tomorrow? Yeah. And labor having advised all of us to go and stop buy food and drinks so that uh, we'll stay at home. But we provide essential you service. You protest for a strike, Dr. Both, they say. Yeah, yeah. So they say. <laughs> a strike and a protest, mm. you know. Oh, uh, but we don't go on strike. Exactly. You know, we, we provide essential services. Indeed. Whether there is a protest or a strike, well, yeah. we will be here yeah, well, tomorrow morning yeah. to Indeed. continue to analyze. Thank you very Thank much, you so much. Uh, Rotus. Thank you.